Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the month of December. Now this is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Um, typically I focus on love. We'll see whatever comes up. Um, this reading may not be for you. It's not a private reading. That means that it's going to resonate with some and not all. Okay. Um, keep in mind that this is for the entire month of December. It's being recorded in November. It could resonate now. It may not resonate at all right now. In two weeks from now, it might resonate. Okay. Because this is like a prediction, right? So if it doesn't resonate right now, check back you know, in two weeks or even at the end of December, this could even resonate in January because we're all at different timelines, right? So keep that in mind. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? We're going to get one of these, then we're going to use that deck. What does Aquarius need to know? One card for Aquarius, please. Goddess of the Moon. Divine Guidance. Now, this is also a card of cycles as well. Because the moon is about cycles. There's multiple cycles in a moon, right? So you guys may be completing a cycle or beginning a new cycle. There's also something hidden here. Okay, there's something going on behind the scenes that you may not even be aware of. Something could be working in your favor and you don't even know it. Because seven, divine. So yeah, there's divine guidance here. It's like, <laughs> there's something hidden. There's some sort of myster mystery. Interesting. Goddess of the moon. Now, something could have also transpired during the full moon. This is being recorded on the 24th of November. So you may have, something could have happened around the full moon, which was the 23rd, or the 22nd, 23rd, or you, yeah, something could have happened during this, this uh, full moon that could be um, really factoring into this reading, okay? So whenever you watch this reading, go back to around Thanksgiving, and try to remember, you know, the conversations you have, the events that happened, you know, because it may come into play during the month of December. Okay, it may come to the surface, all right, whatever it is. Aquarius. There's a connection, put it that way. What does Aquarius need to know for the month of December? I will zoom this in once I get these cards laid out. I might even do zoom it in right now as soon as I get done shuffling. Aquarius. Zoom it in more after I lay them down. <laughs> the death card, right off the bat. Well, the death card's a really good card. It's a transformation, transition, release, the end. What happens when you close the book? You start a new one. So you guys are starting over in some direction. A new beginning. Endings bring new beginnings, right? This is a card of transition. Surrendering. Hmm. Ooh. Queen of Wands reversed. You have a choice. You absolutely have a choice. You have the world in your hands. You're at that crossroads where you need to make a decision. And you are probably making a decision to move. 
Maybe you're deciding to move, really like physically move. There's a lack of growth wherever you're at, and that's why there's an ending. Lack of growth, lack of confidence, lack of ambition. You know, it's like, I don't have any desire to do this, whatever it is. No desire. Therefore, I'm wanting to take a new direction. Thinking about it, for sure. Thinking about doing something else. Getting prepared as we speak. Getting prepared for your ship to arrive. And so, your ship is arriving. Something's arriving. I mean, they're right there, right at the dock. You can see them. And you're going to have a choice. Look at there's three choices. <laughs> there is three choices. Absolutely. You have three options, not one. But you can only pick one of them. So, yeah, you have to choose. You have to make some sort of choice. Which, which, which direction are you going to go? Again, moving. You may be thinking about moving or traveling. Definitely. I think that you are prepared for this ending, whatever it is. It's like you knew it was coming, whatever it is. Oh, the Knight of Swords reversed. Lack of courage, lack of... Uh, taking action you were like you were in no hurry for this ending right you were in no hurry for it to happen I think you were trying to make something work but there's a lot there's a feeling of emptiness wherever it is it's like you know there's no fulfillment here now the world card Incomplete. This isn't, this isn't complete. Something is incomplete. You're feeling incomplete where you're at. This isn't it. This isn't it. You know what I mean? And we're needing, this is a card of travel at all, as well. And you see, this is, she, this person's got the world in his hands and this is the world card. I'm not feeling good where I'm at. I'm not feeling like this completes me. It doesn't fulfill me. And now you have this opportunity to fi find the fulfillment. You just have to take it. You have to step over that edge. But you haven't found the courage to do so yet. In no hurry. Lack of ambition. For this to end for who knows what reason. That, look at that shit. You see, look at that shit. It, look at that. I gotta leave it there. I am leaving it there. The fool. Fresh new start, new beginning. Leave the past behind. Take a risk. Go in the direction of your heart's desire. This is a this is a, a very free spirited in, individual who is traveling on a new journey. So many of you are about to go on a new journey, which really does involve physically moving. You're either talking about it or you're thinking about it or whatever. This is a community card and it's reversed. It's like I think you're you're not lacking the support wherever you're at. You're probably dealing with some naysayers. You're dealing with people that are holding you back. It's like you're not getting anything, any reward out of this wherever you're at. It could be in your job, could be at home, could be in a partnership. I don't know. It's like I'm ready to go. You guys may be thinking, you know, I'm ready to start fresh. I'm ready for this new journey. I'm ready for this new beginning. And there is absolutely positively a new beginning here with the death card and the fool card where you are being called to take a risk. Follow your heart and don't bring the past with you. The fool starts his journey with very, very, very little. He doesn't bring much with him. Just what he can fit in that bag. The rest stays. I'm leaving. Starting fresh. Elsewhere. And this definitely, I think for a lot of you, this has to do with your job. It does. You're a really hard worker and you deserve to be appreciated. And there's been a lack of appreciation where you're at. You have skills. You have knowledge. You work hard. You try hard. You put in a lot of effort. 
and somebody isn't recognizing that. And therefore, it's like you, you're, you're not going to find victory and success there, and perhaps you know it. The chariot reversed. The chariot is victory and success, but it's reversed. There's no victory and success dealing with these people who are malicious, and you, you're, you got like a gang against you of some sort. You know, at least three people, right? And he's like, this isn't fulfilling to me. There's, and, and you know, okay. So we have two victory and success cards here. The world card and the chariot card. Those are both cards of victory and success. They're both reversed. Even though you work so hard, you put in a lot of effort, you're dealing with some people that are not very nice. And you probably have been getting prepared trying to figure out what your next move is and you're probably at this point where now you have this choice you have options it's getting to be the end of the year you're thinking about next year and it's like you know i think i'm ready to fly because in in one deck that i have it's actually a bird on a limb and mama's gonna come push him off in a minute the fool card okay it's about learning to fly i'm gonna time for me to fly that's that song by Ario Speedwagon, it's time for me to fly. So you may be at that point where it's time for me to fly. Transition, release, transformation. Goodbye, the end, the death card. I'm ready to begin again elsewhere. Without this bullshit. Ooh, because we needed to have that. You guys always have that quite often, the tower. As the outcome, there's probably going to be some sort of upheaval that's going on behind. The universe is, does this kind of shit. This is a universe card, this is a universe card, and that is a universe card. So we have the universe working in your favor, and, and you may not consider it a blessing, but... The tower is a blessing in disguise. It's totally a disguised blessing, okay? It will, the universe will bring in some sort of chaotic event, a rude awakening, to change your life for the better, whether you like it or not. If you don't find the courage, and we have somebody here that lacks courage, if you don't find the courage to end something, the universe, you can always look and see what's mirroring each other, the universe will end it for you. So somebody has not found the mental strength and the courage. They've been in no hurry because they're kind of comfortable but being mistreated. And the universe sees the mistreatment, so they bring this upheaval to force an ending. So be prepared for some sort of fated blessing in disguise to push you in a new direction for your own highest good. And I do apologize that some of you are scared of this. I see that. This is fear right here. The Knight of Swords upright is all about courage. No fear. What's the opposite in reverse? Fear. You know why? Because there's money involved. You have enough experience, you do, to go elsewhere. You don't need to stay where you are mistreated and not appreciated. You have the power to take the lead, to be the boss, to do it on your own, to take control of this situation. You have the power. I don't know if you can see that any better. I don't like the light on. It distracts me. We're going to leave it like that. I 
can't get any more light from that. I don't want to catch anything on fire here. <laughs> you have the power to be the boss. Okay, take control. With the Emperor card. Take the lead. Mmm. The Page of Swords reverse. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't like you. This person is against you. They're, they don't care who they hurt. This is a gossip. A troublemaker. You got a troublemaker in your life. You have the power. To take control of this situation by headed in by heading in a new direction. Goodbye. But right now you're stuck and you need to stand up for yourself. The hey man reversed. Stop sacrificing yourself needlessly. You're resisting change. It's time to see things clearly. Stand up for yourself. Stop hanging on to a dead end situation. Hey man reversed. No more hanging on. Stand up. Take a risk. Move on. I feel like you guys are going to be forced to move on with that tower. The tower is universal force. Pay <laughs> This is the King of Swords reversed. You're dealing with a bully. You are. You've got a bully in your midst. This person doesn't care if they hurt you. They don't care who they hurt. They're out for themselves. And it's time for you to love yourself enough to say, hey, you know what? I deserve love. Treat yourself with compassion. Follow your heart. I think there's going to be some sort of rude awakening that forces you to love yourself enough to move on and stand up for yourself. That six is that is move on. Stand up for yourself, move on, take a risk, start over someplace else. There's a major ending here. Trans transformation, transition, release, goodbye. The very first card. We have Scorpio. We have Pisces. We have Aries. We have, we have them all. We do have them all. Everybody's here. We have Aries a couple times. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. A couple times Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius quite a bit. We have Scorpio a couple times. I don't see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, though. I don't see Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn at all. Doesn't mean you're not dealing with them because they all can take on these energies. Either way, there is some sort of fated change of course because you've lacked the courage to do it on your own. So the universe is saying... Time to, time to go. Time, to, time for you to fly. Time to fly, my dear. You have multiple opportunities. Trust me, you do. And you may have a man that helps you with this transition. An older man that helps you. But you also have at least three people. One to three people that are totally against you. And they don't care who they hurt. It's like a gang. 
I think I've told you this before. Anyway, you do have a new beginning. Let's talk about this death card. What happens after this ending? You start over. You start on a new journey. Ending. Starting over. Starting from scratch. Oh, God damn. It hurts. It hurts. You're going to probably feel some pain. I can't pretend. It's painful. This is painful. It's painful to move on. It is. It hurts to move on. But there's no growth where you're at. There's. You're dealing with a naysayer. You're dealing with a negative person who is holding you back from success. There's no growth there. It's not well suited for you. And you know it. And you've been keeping it to yourself. And it's time to follow your intuition and start over. And I think that's what's going to happen. You're going to make that decision to stop pretending. That's what the universe is going to do. It's going to force you to make the decision to, I can't pretend anymore that I'm happy. So yeah, there's going to be some sort of, you've been blocking it, but whatever you've been blocking is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. The, the universe is, uh, is helping you even though you may not see it as help. So I see a ending here that brings about a new beginning where it forces you to surrender. You're going to surrender. I mean, it's just like, you know, I'm, I can't pretend anymore. A secret is going to be revealed, you know, or the truth is going to come out in which you can't pretend that this isn't happening. Okay, I'm sorry. Whatever is, it's time to fly. That's the meaning. It's time for me to fly. You guys are about to go in a new direction. <coughs> Is there love here? I, you know, I don't see the Ace of Cups. I don't see the Two of Cups. I don't see the Ten of Cups. I don't see the Lover's Card. This is about work. It could be about a relationship as well. I mean, it could be work or it could be a relationship that's ending. And something is ending. And it's been very prominent in your life. And it does involve money. <coughs> You're dealing with somebody who is very mean. Very mean. And you've been prepared. Getting prepared for this ending. Knowing that it was coming. The universe says... Here it comes. <coughs> I gotta take a drink. Playfulness. To recapture romance. Allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's how it's supposed to be, right? In life. Things are supposed to be playful. But where you're at right now, it's not, right? Maybe you're having a new beginning in which you are being called to be playful. Maybe this is where your fresh start happens and you find your playfulness again. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start where you can absolutely positively be happy. I do apologize. For some reason, I, my, my throat is all scratchy. That hasn't happened at all. It's brand new. So I don't know if some of you guys are having throat or communication problems or there's been some yelling or some fighting or what, but all of a sudden it's like... <clears throat> Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yes, they are. Are you aware? Mm 
really, really keep your eyes open. Because you're dealing with somebody who does not have your back. So I feel for some of you there's an opportunity for a fresh new start away from some sort of false, false foundation, away from it, you know. Um, once this happens, or if it has happened already, there's an opportunity to start someplace else and to regain that playfulness that you've lost. Because endings bring new beginnings. So you do. For those of you that have already had this tower moment, you have an opportunity for a new beginning here. For those of you that are in a situation with somebody that is very mean and bullying, open your eyes. Because you have an opportunity to travel to a new destination. Period. Something that you have been getting prepared for is here. It's here. Whether it's a new love or a new job or whatever. You have opportunity. You have, you have three choices. But you're going to have to deal with whatever is faults first okay that needs to crumble completely so that you can have this new beginning so yeah you guys have a major new beginning here period For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. You know what this is. Good luck. This is how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be. Time to fly.